सो हेलो फ्रेंड्स मेरा नाम अमित है मेरे चैनल का नाम लॉजिक क्वेस्ट ए आई है एंड वी आर डूइंग टू इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन ऑफ कैट टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन स्लॉट वन टूडे आई वुड लाइक टू नो योर फीडबैक इन कमेंट्स एंड इफ यू लाइक द कंटेंट प्लीज लाइक द चैनल एंड सी एट एंड सब्सक्राइब ऑल्सो सो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच आई है टेकन इज रिलेटेड टू टाइम एंड वर्क एंड दिस क्वेश्चन इज a person can complete a job in 120 days he works alone on day 1 on day 2 he is joined by another person who can complete this job in exactly 120 days so same efficiency person and on day 3 they are joined by another person of equal efficiency like this every day a new person is joining them of same efficiency so how many days to complete the job uh, as you see i have written written some content here the first day we have been given that only one person is working what's happening the second day when another person of same efficiency is joining and what's happening on the third day same efficiency one another person is joining so first day one person second day two persons and third day we have three persons now fourth day similar wise we have four person and nth day on a nth day like first second third The third, three, fourth, four, and nth n person. So we have n person working on the nth day. Now the next challenge is to define the work and how much unit of work is being done every day. So let's see how to do that. It be, it has been given that the person completes the job in one twenty days. So more simple approach is assuming that we have a work of one twenty unit. Now what is the amount of work done by a person in one day? So What's happening? I'm assuming that in 120 days, 120 unit of work is being done. So in a way, I'm assuming that every day, assuming every day we do the same amount of work, 120 divided by 120, which is one unit of work is being done. Simple, na? 120 unit in 120 days. So one, 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 one till 120. And by formula, if you want to see, it is nothing but total amount of work. Which we, which has been done, and total amount of work which is has been done and the total time taken. So it is simply total work which is being done and total time which is taken. So one twenty unit equal divided by one twenty days is one unit per day. Now the third slide. Let's move. So we'll see that here. What amount of work is being done in first day? We are doing around. So we are doing how much work in one day? I'm doing one unit in one day. Second day, what's happening? Second day, I can see that two person is working in the second day. So we have doing one plus one, two unit of work on the second day. Simply third day. Three persons working for one day, which is three unit, and nth day, n person working for one day, so one unit. Now I know that total work will be completed when one twenty unit of work will be done. And I am doing work like that. The first day I am doing one, second day I am doing two, third day I am doing three, until end day I am doing n. So this is something which is a formula which we can define like. One plus two plus three is the sum of consecutive natural numbers, and the formula is n n plus one by two here, and is equal to one twenty. Now n into n plus one is equal to one twenty into two, which is nothing but two forty. If I break two forty, I get eight into thirty, which on further break up gives fifteen into sixteen. So n comes out as fifteen. So how many days we need to complete it is fifteen days. So the question is. What is the learning from this question? And for learning, let's move to the slide here. So learning is many. Now, first learning is that. So every day equal efficiency person joins, and we keep all other assumptions same. So you finally get an equation like n into n plus one by two equal to number of days taken by one person. So if I have forty-five days, so I what I will get, I will get n into n plus one by 
2 equal to 45 and then n into n plus 1 equal to 90 which will give me 9 into 10 n will be 9 similarly for 2 10 days you can calculate let's move to the next slide so now this question is a very good question uh, very tricky question i would say that in this question what's being given is that i need to find out number of solutions so the number of solutions of equation x y z x minus y minus z equal to 25 but x y z are positive integer positive integer means it will be 1 2 3 likewise and also some conditions are given now the question is can i directly evaluate x minus y minus z equal to 25 yeah i can i can take a manual approach and can do it but there are better approaches and how to do it we need to see these two conditions are there which has been given on the screen you can see these is coming because we have positive integers so it has been given positive integers so these conditions are coming also we have been given another condition which is x my where x is smaller than 40 y is something less than z is something now let's move to next now we hardly have any mechanism to guess solution of x minus y minus z equal to 25 as i said only manual mechanism is there we do not have any other mechanism now to move to solving it by a formula we do two formulas from permutation combination that if we have been given a plus b plus c till r terms and LHS is n some number then positive integral solution are n minus 1 c r minus 1 and non-negative integral solution is n plus r minus 1 c r what this mean so if the condition is that a is greater than equal to b b is greater than equal to c likewise then i will use this formula if the condition is a is greater than equal to 0 b is greater than equal to 0 then i will use this formula so let's see how to do this question now my x minus y minus z is giving me so my x minus y minus z equal to 25 is giving me x equal to 25 plus y plus z so this is the expression i'm getting but i have two conditions on x first x has to be greater than equal to 1 Obviously, it will be because 25 plus y plus z it is and y is greater than equal to 1, z is greater than equal to 1. So, this is automatically satisfied. But I need the upper limit to be checked. For this to happen, what I get? I get y plus z, y plus z less than equal to 15. Right? So, now I have formula for equality. But I do not have a formula for inequality sign. So, how do I check this how do i convert this inequality to inequality so very small trick is there i will just add a number which is greater than or equal to one and can take any value any positive integral value so i just add that number and my inequality becomes equality you say how this becomes equality let's see in the next slide So next slide first if i add this positive integer what happens i can apply a formula and second thing which happens is it covers most of the inequality cases like if a is one as i said a will be greater than or equal to one i have assumed so y plus z equal to 14 all our case is covered similarly if a is equal to 2 then y plus z equal to 13 all our case is covered Similarly, if a is 13, then y plus z equal to 2 is covered. All cases gets covered except the equality all our case, which is y plus z equal to 15, which we will have to tackle separately. So, see how this happens. So, for me, a plus y plus z is nothing. So, my a plus y plus z. is nothing but 15 so so 
So for my a plus y plus z is equal to 15 and I have the condition on this that a is greater than equal to 1 y is greater than equal to 1 and z is greater than 1. So positive integral solution formula will apply here. This is n minus 1 c r minus 1. And this 15 minus 1 c 3 minus 1 because n is what? n is the this term and r is nothing but number of terms on the left hand side. So I get what? 14 c 2 and when we calculate we get 91 cases. But again there is a twist. As you can see from the equation above y can take value greater than 12 here z can take greater than 12 here if i have not tackled that situation here so let's explore those cases so if y is 13 the other two will be 1 1 and similarly if z is 13 other will be 1 1 so my can i know ki more than that is not possible i mean i cannot keep y 14 and this 0 1 so because i already have condition on them that they will be greater than equal to 1 so those cases will never arise these two cases will be what this two cases will be discarded so we have actual solution 91 minus 2 which is 89 right so let's move to the next slide and see what to do So as I told you earlier, I've not covered y plus z equal to 15 all the case. So for that to happen, I know that z ka maximum value is 12. So I will take z as 12 and y as 3. Explore the cases 4, 11, 5, 10. I'm increasing 1 by 1 and the other by minus 1 to remain the keep the sum constant. So 3 ko 4 kar rahe, to 12 ko 11 kar rahe. Sum amesha 15 hoga. Similar 5, 10, 12, 13. And these all are the cases which will be giving us y plus z equal to 15. So how many cases are there? Nothing but 12 minus 3 plus 1. Humne kyo kiya minus 3 plus 1? Kyoki hum jab minus 3 kar rahe, to 3 wala case exclude ho ja rahe. So we have done plus 1. So total 10 cases here. So total solution is nothing. 18 plus 10 which is 99. Now what could be learning from this? So can you solve if I have changed the conditions like uh, if I make this x as less than equal to 45, if I make y less than equal to 13, z less than equal to 10, other conditions same and comment your answer if you can solve this. I just want to know if you can solve this, if you understand the concept or not. Also, some other things to be done like you have to like, if you like this work, please like this channel. If you really want to get more of such videos, please subscribe my channel. Uh, also, share this channel to all the WhatsApp groups which are preparation related and which other people can benefit from. Other things which you can do is like you can email me your feedback on logic.coest.ak at the red gmail.com. You can also join my Facebook group. I will give the link in description. You can also download this PDF of this from link in description. Thank you so much and all the best for your preparation.